My brothers and sisters, the Quran, the duty that we have towards it is not just to recite it, but it is to try and understand it, to implement it, to convey the message. A person was asking me, telling me, you know what, I cannot concentrate much in Salah. Can you give me a remedy? Concentration in Salah, you see Shaitan, Shaitan is a, an expert in his field. You know, he has a PhD in his field. Shaitan has a very high degree in his field. You know what he does? He knows that now you are trying to plug with Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala. So as you are standing in salah and you say Allahu Akbar, he comes to you and he says, Hey, your phone is going to ring just now. So now you're worried about your phone ringing. Then he says, you know, it's getting a bit late. So now you're worried about the time. Then he says, immediately after this, you have a meeting. So now you're worried about the meeting. Then he says, you're going to need to go and eat just now. The food is getting cold. He says, now you're worried about the food and it getting cold. May Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala forgive us. Concentrate on the words. So I answered the young man by saying, in order to maximize the concentration in salah, there are many remedies that we are, being, we are taught. One of them is, try and understand what you are saying in salah. When you start Allahu Akbar, what is the dua you make? What does it mean? What am I saying? Surah Al-Fatiha, when I go into Ruku'ah, Subhana Rabbi al azim what does it mean? What am I saying? Why am I saying it? When I get up, Sami Allahu Liman Hamidah, what does it mean? Why do I say Rabbana wa lak alhamd or Rabbana lak alhamd? Why do I say that? And what does it mean? So when you learn the meaning of it, inshallah your concentration will be maximized because now you know what you're saying.